Richard and Tamara Davis, and we lost a little, we lost a daughter many years ago. And this Christmas box angel is one of the greatest things that we have ever been committed to and have supported. And it helps us every year as we meet with other families that have lost little ones and we can fill their spirit and they can fill our spirit. And we invite everyone that has lost a little one because that's what this monument was built for, is it's for, dedicated to all parents that have lost little ones. Please come toward this program on December 6th at seven o'clock at the Spanish Fork Cemetery. Parents that have lost little ones go together to fill each other's spirit and to support each other in this time of need. There's just a special spirit there, and it's a way that we can remember the children that we've lost. And you know, there's people there that are going through the same thing, and so it's just nice to feel the support from other people who have lost a child like you have. I, sometimes you can't get over it. It's 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 a hard ordeal. It's a trial that people just can't get over. It puts them into a depression, and all of us has experienced this. And so we support each other, we love each other, and like Tamara says, there is a spirit there that you cannot believe. And when that is there, they feel it. They feel it in their heart and we just continue to love and support each other and and the next year we ask them to come back and support the people that have lost somebody the next year uh, time heals a lot of wounds you know not all wounds i mean not all the way but but still it makes it a little bit easier and people help each other and that's what's so wonderful about this well we've had many people come up to and talk to us and thank us for you know Continue, continuing this program and um, a lot of them have had questions you know how, how, how do you get over this and and how do you believe that you know that your little ones in the next world and how do you know that they're happy and 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 all of those type of questions and you know we just almost have to just take them by the shoulders and say do you have a desire to know you know and if you have a desire to know then you have to you have to get on your knees and you have to pray to your Father in Heaven for help and guidance through these ordeals. And you have to work together as a family, you know, as, as a mother and a father to help you understand and give you the peace that you truly need to know that your little ones are okay. And yes, it takes time and it takes a lot of tears. And we still, as you can tell, it's been 25 years since we lost our little one. And, and I, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her and, and shed a few tears. But I know she's happy and I know she's with me and she's made me a better person. And that's, that's how we explain it to people. We just say, and, and then, then it, it makes, and then all of a sudden people will start to look to them for help and guidance because they, they have lost somebody and they're going to look to them for help and um, but it now, it now marks them it marks them to be better people and to start helping others you know David back in the Old Testament wrote songs and hymns and 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 it is something that our that I feel our Father in Heaven supports and, and, and music soothes the soul. And there's so many songs out there and hymns out there that support and talk about exactly the pain that you're going through and helps you and guides you. Me and Tamara, we've got two or three songs. One of them is Over the Rainbow. But there's a couple of other ones that, you know, like that have been sung that, that almost talk about our our uh, story, you know, our our loss, and and there's just many of them out there. Um, we've had people sing solos. We've had choirs sing. This year we have a choir, and um, the Spanish Fort Creoles going to sing again for us. A couple they did of, such a wonderful job last year. We wanted them to come back again this year. And so, and we feel like when there's a lot of numbers there, there's just like angels are singing. 
you know, just just like when the Savior was born. Uh, you know, the angels sing, and, and we have had that experience many, many times where when a choir sings, it's just like angels are singing and helping us and supporting us. You know, throughout the years we've had such wonderful speakers, and every year um, they usually tell the story of their little one that they've lost, and every year I learn something new. I, I gain something from every speaker that we've had. And I think, I think this year will be really special and I think people will gain something and from the speaker we have this year. I want you to look at this Christmas tree that we brought up from last year. Uh, the decorations on it and the ornaments. Remember I, I asked if you wanted to put a, a monument or an ornament on there to uh, remember your little one to come and bring it and put it on there and, and many of you did uh, it still stands today anybody that was, would like to put an ornament on that tree please come and do it uh, we'll keep this tree here until the first of the year and can continue the tradition there's some beautiful uh, ornaments on it reminding us of our little ones uh, continue to come and decorate it for us you never move on you're they're always there with you they're on a mission as far as I'm concerned, they're on a bigger mission now, and they're safe. I, I, have, I have come to that conclusion that my daughter and these little ones are safe, they're, and they are happy. We're the ones that are suffering down here on this earth because we've lost them, but they'll always be in our hearts, and they're always around us, helping us and guiding us and directing us and making us better, making us better in this world. As long as they're there, we, and we know that they're there, they'll make us better, they make us love more, they make us be kinder and gentler and meeker and, and, and love and support our neighbors.